So we're here at Ajao Islamic Center and we are heading out to the observatory in Kitsilino to look for the new moon after uh, sunset. Welcome to Salam, Take a selfie? How are you? How are you? Good. Ramadan Mubarak and Eid Mubarak. Oh, Eid Mubarak. So yes. we're going to go moon sighting at the... No? Yeah. I came at the right time. So, so we have just gone across the Burrard Bridge and uh, we're approaching the uh, observatory in Kitsilino. And there's no right turns on red, so uh, that's where we're waiting. We're gonna find the moon today, so we uh, to figure out if uh, eat tomorrow or not. The Gordon McMillan. Southern Observatory. So this is the moon sighting team from several Islamic centers, uh, as well as me, Emi Syed, with 30 masjids in 30 days in Metro Vancouver. better see the, the stars, whereas the other one, the reflector, is... Uh, sun goes down, and then the, the, the moon is not that far back from the sun. So, so the trees, I think, the, the trees over there, there's a cars and building over here. We, we're not exactly sure what the positions are. So if there's a slight chance, maybe something will block the sun enough for us to... And the moon is... Try. Uh, well, uh, Oh. Uh, so, yeah. um, 
depends maybe half an hour. Oh, okay. So you can say 12 an hour, okay. Yeah, I, that's just, that's just an estimate. Yeah, de depending on the position of the trees and the class. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So, you should wait until yeah. the universe is okay. expanding. Right, so the moon is always moving in a consistent circle around the Earth. Here. Is it possible? But the density of the molecules on the planet's distribution, can it pull the moon closer? Well, the, the water, the water is, I mean, the water affects the moon just as much as the moon affects it. So if you're talking about looking at the moon during daytime and nighttime, so the, the moon goes around the earth like this once every 28 to 29 days, whereas the earth is spinning, you know, mm -hmm. for you know, every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. Um, and, but if you notice, the ecliptic, so the, the angle of the Earth, depending on what season it is, right, it will affect the way that we see the moon. Okay. And do you believe that the action that we do the city, particularly this is going to be difficult. But don't say they cannot see it. We can check on the dome is not working. They're not working. Electronically, it's not working. And they can't do it manually. Well, we check on, I checked the internet for a for so we are reevaluating re our decision to make a moon sighting attempt from the Macmillan Observatory here in uh, Kitsilano in uh, Vancouver. The telescope is not going to be able to be positioned in time for a possible moon sighting. There's only a 1% chance. Um, with the conditions here in Vancouver and, and the observatory and the sun being as bright as it is late in the day, shortly, just a few days after the solstice, the longest day of the year. So these are a number of challenges that makes our moon sighting attempt um, unlikely. So the Shura consultation is the sure the consultation is to um, call it a day that uh, we are not going to make an attempt some of us are considering going to Burnaby Mountain or a different location to uh, visually uh, attempt a moon sighting this is Himi Syed of 30Mustards.ca going with the flow on the possible moon sighting uh, for Shawal 1438 Salam alaikum for now So we are now driving into Queen Elizabeth Park. This is the highest point inside the city of Vancouver where we will make an attempt for a visual moon sighting. Uh, low probability, but we're making the attempt anyway. And we'll see. So we are now on the highest point inside the city of Vancouver. Uh, that in the distance is the Lodell Conservatory, where they have exotic plants and birds. And uh, that's a visit for another day. So most of our team have regrouped here for a visual moon sighting attempt. And it's uh, just a few minutes before Mugrib, uh, a few minutes before sunset, about 9.22 p.m. on um, Saturday. Today's June 24th, right? It's the 24th of June? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it's the 24th of June, 29th of Ramadan, 1438. I'm losing track of the days, though it is the last day of Ramadan. Well, maybe. Maybe. If we see the Qamar. The Hilal, actually. Yeah. Did we go around? Yeah. Did yeah. Go around? To the right, there's a there's yeah. like a cliff that, well... There's an observati observation deck. Yeah. yeah. Tibinia. Tibinia. Yeah.
literally this is the highest point right now inside Vancouver and we're going to this observation area Yeah, I'll be explaining the... Uh, it's going to be right there. Because that's supposed to be there. Yeah. Well, but, but also you have some clouds. Yeah, but no, but the clouds... It's, it'll be above the clouds. Yeah. It'll be just right... I mean, it's going to be like... Just above the clouds. It'll, no. be, it'll be... It'll rise up, right? It'll come right now and then at no, no, 10 no. o'clock it rises up. It comes up. Samosa, Yani, El Hind. I thought it was bisposa. What's bisposa again? <laughs> bisposa, that's samosa, right? Uh, no, there's no. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Bisposa. Because it's bisposa. I can't find it. Go to that's YouTube, fun. watch me. Yeah, yeah. Watch the <laughs> now I remember, as soon as you said, I brought my lens this time, I was like, you were there, weren't you? How can I miss that? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah. Sorry, that way. This way, yeah. <coughs> What, you, what have you seen so far? We've seen the horizon, <laughs> we've seen the red horizon, and we see trees that are blocking the moon. Uh, they, they must have saw something. Oh, what's going on there? They saw the moon. <laughs> they saw the moon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we should wait for another ten minutes. Ironically enough, we might. We are just beside the Bladell Conservatory in Queen Elizabeth Park in Vancouver, British Columbia. We have not seen the moon. We prayed Maghrib. And we have trees, a tree line. So this is about it. It is very doubtful that we will see the moon. So at this point, we have a negative moon sighting report, and that will probably remain a negative moon sighting report uh, tonight for Saturday, June 24th, 2017. This is Hemi Syed of 30 Masjids Project at 30masjids.ca and on Twitter at 30masjids.
along with imams and representatives from different masajid uh, across Metro Vancouver, from Richmond to uh, Port Coquitlam to downtown Vancouver. And, and one masjid blogger, <laughs> Ramadan blogger, me. So, negative moon sighting report from Vancouver for Thursday, uh, yeah, losing track of the days, Saturday, June 24, 2017. Assalamu alaikum and Eid Mubarak. I can do that, I just need you to line up. And we're back where we started at Ajal Islamic Center in downtown Vancouver. And uh, we're now going to have a delayed iftar dinner. So Eid Mubarak, tomorrow is Eid here in Vancouver with the uh, Global Moon Sighting. And the attempt at visual moon sighting was to fulfill the Sunnah. What are we doing, Nuri? Trick or treat? Take one. I don't like tricks. No, it's not tricks. Take candy. I don't like candy. Candy is for little kids. No, it's a woman. And Are you a woman? <laughs> <laughs> then you can't have candy. Yeah, women's what? Man. Woman. Everyone's allowed to have candy. She needs candy. <laughs> okay. So a little bit of fun with the kids here. Lots of kids. And everyone's happy with the uh, eat. So Eid Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum from Himi Said and 30 Mustards at 30 Mustards.ca.